The TED Talk that I picked was called Danger of AI is Weirder Than You Think. Um, the speaker of this TED Talk was Janelle Shane. Um, she is an IA uh, researcher and she is also an uh, optics researcher. I picked this topic because it's um, pretty interesting to me. I think uh, artificial intelligence can go a long ways and it's pretty interesting on what they can do and it's also like interesting on the dangers of AI. <clears throat> so she starts off uh, with explaining on how AI solves problems and a couple of examples of them. Uh, she, fir well, she first starts off by saying um, they gave 1200 flavor combinations to uh, an AI al algorithm and for this algorithm she told it to combine these combinations and make new flavors of ice cream and for the flavors of ice cream they were flavors that you would not expect um, I tried making a PowerPoint but I don't know how to share the screen and record myself so I just took a screenshot it's backwards I know but uh, this is the picture of what the algorithm came up with it's called pumpkin trash break and then here's another one this is what it looks like it's like green it's called peanut butter slime so these combinations they thought were gonna be good ice cream combinations ended up being completely terrible like the weirdest combinations and they just didn't weren't expecting the AI to make combinations like that so the danger of AI is not what like they could do it's that the AI artificial intelligence would do exactly what we ask <clears throat> um, AI isn't smart at all she compares artificial intelligence to a worm how smart it is uh, I think she compares it to this because the data or AI's world is only the data we give them so if we don't give them a lot of data then they won't really understand how to do their job or what they were made for <clears throat> um, she goes on and talks about a couple incidents that happens with AI and the problems they have um, one incident was the Tesla car um, so everyone knows about how the Tesla car has a automated uh, self-driving so she talks about this one incident about what happened in 2016 when a Tesla was driving in the city with its um, self-driving like mode on and as it was driving in the city uh, a truck pulled out across and the car didn't recognize it and it failed to stop so the Tesla ended up ramming into the truck uh, for a reason why the Tesla did this was because the Tesla's automated driving was made for highways and instead of like cars coming across it was made for a uh, highway so it was made for seeing cars that were coming like directly like so if there was a truck in front of me and I was on the highway and it, it started slowing down started started coming closer it would recognize that and slow down because of it being on the highway but since this incident was in the city the car didn't recognize the truck coming sideways and probably thought it was just like a street sign and then didn't stop and ended up hitting it she talks about uh, another um, AI uh, failure was the Amazon's um, resume program or resume algorithm uh, Amazon had a resume uh, checking algorithm which they would use to um, they would use to help smooth the process for uh, resumes because of the number they were getting so what they weren't expecting was how the resume algorithm would focus on how they uh, employed past um, employees and based off that they recognized that uh, people with the words woman in the resume and people who went to 
women's um, colleges, like so basically female workers were denied from Amazon because of their resumes, including these words. And obviously that's terrible. So what they had to do was get rid of the program, but they later found out why it happened was because they were, the AI looked in, into the past and saw these key words and why they weren't getting hired. So they figured that, the AI figured that they weren't getting hired because of these keywords, uh, woman and women's colleges or like women's soccer team on their resume, which is terrible. She, she then ends the um, TED talk about how humans need to learn how to communicate with AI in order for these problems to either be solved or just completely go away, which I 100% agree. I think we need to figure out how AI works and make sure we don't run into these problems like the Tesla or the Amazon incident. <clears throat> so there are a couple questions I would ask uh, the speaker. Uh, one question would be, are there any like hints that we could give AI to do their job, like um, why they're doing it? Uh, this could make like the AI's uh, complete goal process be what we want it to be. So that way, like uh, for the ice cream, it, it wouldn't make like the slime peanut butter ice cream. They would actually make good flavors by giving them hints on what to combine. Um, another question I would like to ask is uh, is there a way we can communicate with AI while it's doing its job like for the Tesla incident uh, could you could like is there a way that we could have told the car hey I'm going to the city now recognize these cars coming this way instead of straight at me so that way that the automated control for the driver or for the self driving car can recognize that it's either in the city or the highway and then the last question I would be or the last question I would ask is could there be a way that AI can learn about the goal and find more efficient ways to complete it because I think this would make the AI work a lot more uh, efficiently and they would get to the end product the way we want it to and it would probably it would definitely help uh, decline all these, or uh, not, not, not decline. I mean, they would help uh, slow down these incidents that are happening in order for us to fix it.